Our universe is so much larger than we could ever imagine. We have only touched the tip of the iceberg in our quest to understand the planets and celestial bodies around us. Each discovery brings us one step closer. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. Aliens could be using Dyson spheres to harvest black hole energy. It is hard to discuss the enormous unknowns and possibilities concerning the almost incomprehensible expanse of our solar system without considering the possibility of as yet undiscovered alien life forms. Although UFO sightings and theories of Area 51 government cover-ups fall into the category of conspiracies, scientists studying the limitless vastness beyond our Milky Way galaxy must consider the very possibility that there could be alien life forms in other galaxies, and that these life forms may be much more societally and technologically developed than we are. One of the propositions of advanced alien technology that could feasibly exist are Dyson spheres. The theoretical idea, proposed by Freeman Dyson, involves a structure encircling a star with multiple orbiting platforms to capture and redirect the energy emitted from the star in order to use its power. Recently, astronomers from National Tsinghua University in Taiwan began to think about these Dyson spheres and their potential applications for harvesting energy from black holes, which are some of the brightest objects in space as far as energy radiation is concerned. The astronomers realized that it was highly feasible and practical to build a Dyson sphere around the entrance to a black hole and proposed that more advanced alien life forms may have already done so. The principles behind why a Dyson sphere is more practical for a black hole than a star, as far as energy production is concerned, deals with the fact that black holes are smaller than stars but manage to contain an amazing amount of energy in that small area. This energy affects particles surrounding the black hole, which heat up due to friction, and bursts of energy frequently shoot from pores in the hole. It would be cheaper, material-wise, to build a Dyson sphere around a black hole due to its smaller size, and the potential energy production would be up to 100,000 times greater than that of a star. And although aliens might not be using the exact principles of Dyson spheres, the scientists speculated that they might use some forms of satellites instead to harvest X-ray energy in a similar concept as solar panels. Because of the large amount of energy that would be redirected from a structure harvesting energy from black holes, there would be a definitive ultraviolet or infrared energy signature, which earthbound scientists might be able to see from the Milky Way and may already have been recorded by satellites. With this new possibility of signatures of alien life forms, the scientists interested in pursuing this theory must now go back through records and begin looking for such telltale radiation signatures. Perhaps confirmation of alien life forms is coming sooner than we think. hidden planet in our solar system. Although the technology available to scientists seeking to peer into space has increased substantially over the past few decades, there are still many things that we know are lurking in the depths of space but are out of the range of telescopes and satellites. These mysterious unknowns always stand to throw everything that we know about the cosmos onto its head, even things that we once thought were absolutely certain, such as how many planets there are. It is common knowledge that there are eight planets orbiting our Sun, not including Pluto, which famously lost its designation as a planet in 2006. However, substantial evidence also exists to suggest that there is a ninth planet lurking at the edges of the solar system far out of the reach of our Earth-bound telescopes. We actually cannot see many things in the solar system, like black holes for example and have deduced their presence by observing their effects on the celestial bodies that we can see. Scientists looking into the potential existence of a ninth planet started by observing gravitational pulls on other planets, and then worked backwards mathematically to discover where it should be and how big it is based on the strength of the gravitational pull. Although this is how Neptune was discovered when scientists noticed that Uranus was being affected by some unknown gravitational pull, it does not seem that any of the currently known planets are being swayed by a secret planet's gravity. 
What does exhibit some signs of a strange gravitational influence are the orientations of a small group of bodies called the Kuiper Belt objects. Kuiper Belt objects are clusters of ice, rock and dwarf planets on the outer edges of our solar system, and what is notable about them is the fact that rather than appearing randomly throughout the perimeter of the solar system, they appear to be orientated as though being pulled by the gravitational force of a small planet. Scientists observing this phenomenon began calculating where a theoretical planet influencing these Kuiper Belt objects might lie, and finally came up with the proposed location of a potential ninth planet in 2016. They estimated that the so-called Planet 9 was about five times the mass of Earth and ten times farther from the Sun than Neptune. However, searches of the region of space where scientists calculated Planet 9 to be yielded nothing, and many people took this to mean that Planet 9 did not exist, as it was entirely possible that the Kuiper Belt objects were oriented so specifically from pure coincidence. However, other scientists were skeptical that it could be a coincidence and calculated that there was statistically only a 0.4% chance of the bodies orientating themselves in such a way without the influence of a gravitational pull. So they got back to work and recalculated where the proposed Planet 9 could be hiding, this time considering observational bias and came up with a new potential location, this time slightly closer to the Sun. Luckily, the closest spot is within range of the future path of the Vera Rubin Observatory, and as it passes through the region, we will be able to answer definitively whether Planet 9 is truly hiding out in the edges of the solar system, or if the Kuiper Belt objects are nothing more than a red herring. Rogue Supermassive Black Holes Black holes are some of the most interesting and mysterious elements of our cosmos, and supermassive black holes reign as the largest and most incomprehensible specimens of the category. The enormity of these supermassive black holes is almost impossible to visualize, as they are often billions of times larger than our own massive sun, and their origin is an equally mysterious element that has stumped scientists for decades. The only explanation forthcoming is the speculation that there is a supermassive black hole lurking at the center of every large galaxy, possibly created alongside the galaxy itself. However, once created, they do not stay dormant and lurking in the center. In fact, they tend to wander throughout the galaxies, warping and absorbing in defiance of the laws of physics that govern us here on Earth. A recent study led by Angelo Ricard and a team of researchers with the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard University calculated that wandering black holes may account for up to 10% of the entire mass budget of black holes in the visible universe. It's no easy feat, but the Harvard study was able to simulate the collision of galaxies using the Romulus simulation and discovered that such a collision results in either the merging of both supermassive black holes and the movement of them throughout the galaxies in response to the collision. These supermassive black holes that have migrated from their original location at the heart of the galaxy are known as rogues, and the researchers' simulations revealed that galaxies of a comparable size to our own Milky Way generally have about 12 rogue supermassive black holes. That is quite a lot of space devoted to masses of nothing. The team described the surprising number of supermassive black holes as substantial and suggested that wandering supermassive black holes in the Romulus simulations originate from the centers of destroyed, infalling satellite galaxies. Another issue faced when attempting to study black holes is the fact that you cannot actually see them. They are vacuums of light, and light waves cannot escape their clutches, which means that scientists instead have to infer the presence of a black hole through the fingerprint of light radiating around it. However, the simulations run by the researchers revealed that wandering black holes are actually visually slightly different. They radiate light, similar to if they were tearing a star apart, which can act as a beacon for scientists looking for signs of wandering black holes. Having discovered that rogue supermassive black holes act and move slightly differently than smaller, more stationary black holes, the next step is to begin to dive deeper into the mysteries of rogue supermassive black holes, what causes them to wander around galaxies, and what their presence means for the rest of the cosmos. But what do you make of these fascinating discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.